we're gonna do now is change my gimbal wheel speed, something that you probably wanna do out of the box uh, because by default, your, your gimbal speed's probably too fast to produce what in my opinion is quality video. For video, you want something smooth and, and slow. You don't want a rapid movement. Uh, so I'm just going into my, uh, into my settings here. And I'm going to change the gimbal wheel speed. It's funny, the DJI go out, they're constantly changing, uh, changing where everything's located. Gimbal wheel speed, there we go, RC settings. It's on 100 right now, which is fast. I don't want that. I'm gonna put it down to 50. And this may be, yeah, 50 looks pretty good. Although I may go a little bit slower you don't want it too slow to where you're flying and you're trying to capture the perfect moment. You know, you're flying over a sailboat or something and you want to be able to gimbal wheel down. Uh, I'm going to turn this on record now so you can see my gimbal wheel speed. So, see I'm going up at maximum speed. Now I'm going down at maximum speed. So I feel that, that that's probably a good wheel speed for video. Let's get it airborne and see what you think. We're going to do a little bit of up and down while we fly here. Got to love how nice the interface. I mean, DJI Phantom has really improved the uh, the interface. The super intuitive experience now. We're gonna go go ahead and take off here. Video is silky smooth. Still a little bit of gimbal wheel speed up and down here. So actually, you know what's cool? I pushed it all the way and it's going pretty rapidly. But you can just gently tap it, even though I've set it at a 50%. See, now I'm not really pushing it hard. I'm just gently pushing. But check this out. If I want to make it into a rapid movement, I push all the way up. See how fast that is? I don't think that my Phantom 3 Pro controller would do this. Although the controllers look almost identical, see how slow I'm going now, I can speed it up. By, it's hard to explain, but if you had your fingers on the wheel, see I'm pushing it all the way to the top. So that's maximum speed. And now I'm pushing it all the way down. That's maximum speed. But without adjusting the gimbal wheel speed, I'm gonna gently touch this and you're gonna see it's panning up but it's going slow. So that's kind of cool, it's the best of both worlds. You know, you want something semi-fast, then you just push it all the way, but if you want it semi-slow, you can do this. So depending upon the filming situation, you know, you may want a more rapid movement, never too rapid for video, because it looks awful. But see, watch this. This is the most rapid it'll go. Straight down. So, I mean, that is cool. Um, Again, the gimbal wheel speed, check the link within this video's description. I've got a tutorial explaining how to adjust gimbal wheel speed. Definitely something you want to do if you're using your Phantom for, uh, for creating fun videos. It just looks so much better if you, have, uh, if you have your gimbal wheel speed slowed down from the fastest. 100% is too fast for video in my opinion. battery life on this thing is insane I mean I've already flown a uh, an exhaustive tutorial on the active track the person tracking technology or I guess I should say object tracking but I mean this thing is just I don't know it, it is really nice it really is
also noticed with the descent, there doesn't seem to be as much wobble. Because if, uh, if you were descending with the Phantom 3, sometimes it would wobble. The Phantom 2 was really, the Phantom 2 and the Phantom 2 Vision Plus were really wobbly when they were coming down. Just the overall smoothness of flight of this thing is just blows my mind. And you know, I'll tell you stuff doesn't work. I'm not just sitting here pumping the, the goodness. Because I've already told you, I mean, you don't... I mean, Phantom 3 Pro is awesome. There's really no need to get a Phantom 4. when you're standing this far away from the camera and landing it. I mean, standing that far away from the drone. Because I don't have those quick disconnect prop guards. Can't afford to break any props. A bit of wind kicked up there made it a little bit more challenging but see i'm still at 29 percent battery and i've flown a really long flight with um, with the active tracking or whatever they call it tracking your person and then i've flown uh and then i flew this flight so it's again i really like the phantom uh phantom 4. so thanks for watching be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irix guy Y'all have a good day. Hey, all Irix guy here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel, and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership, and y'all have a good day.